welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games, and in this video I just want to go over some tips and tricks that you may not know about Game Maker Studio 2. The first one being that you can change the background of your workspace, like I've done here. So we're going to click on File, Preferences, which is where the first couple tips will be, and to change the background you go into General Settings, and you go to Background, this option right here. So you can choose a specific image by clicking these dots here, and you can control how it's done through image scaling, and you can also just take it off completely like this if you just want a total gray background. The next thing that you can do is change the default origin of a new sprite. Now, when you make a sprite, the default origin you can change right here. Mine I have set to middle center, but by default it's in top left, which is over here. And I find that to be very useless because I want almost all of my sprites to be middle center. So the way you change that is by coming up over here to Sprite Editor, and this bottom option is the default origin for new sprites. You can change this to anything you want, including a custom setting, and then you are good for every single sprite you import, it will have that. So that's useful, extremely useful in my opinion. The next thing you can do is change the grid size in rooms. By clicking on room and grids you can come over here and see that the default is 32 by 32 but sometimes your room your game you may not want it to be that and if you have to change that over and over it gets very irritating so in here you can change it to something else entirely you can change the display and the snap options on new rooms that are created for me i'm going to leave it 32 by 32 but knowing how to change that i think is great now, the next couple things are inside of objects themselves. So we're gonna create an object. I'm gonna press F12 to get rid of those. I'm just gonna make a create event. And I'm gonna show you that you can actually bookmark sections of code, which can be then used to jump back to that anywhere inside of Game Maker Studio. To do this, you press Control, Shift, and the numbers one through nine. And you can see here that a little bookmark comes up. And I'll just comment this out so that we get rid of that error. And then anywhere inside of your game, you can be inside of a room, another object, whatever. If you press Control and then that number, you will immediately jump back to that bookmark. This is really useful and handy for jumping between sections of code. Now to delete it, you need to press Control Control shift one on that line, or you can press Control shift one to move it if you wanted to, which wouldn't be deleting it, but it's taking it off of that specific line of code. Now, if you come over here and you delete it, uh, you can see here that this is actually still showing that there's a bookmark one. So if I press enter, that bookmark is still around. To delete it, you have to do Control shift one on the line that the bookmark is at. Now, the next useful tip is Project Wide Search, which is so incredibly useful. So I'm going to type hello here, press save, and I'm going to close this object. And while I'm not clicking on any resource over here, I'm going to click on the background. I'm going to press Control Shift F, and I can search for anything inside of all of my objects and scripts that I want. And I will put hello. And you can see here that the results come up down here. And if I double click on this, it opens up exactly where it found that search query. This is so useful for finding variables in all of your objects, for finding that show message that won't disappear. For anything you need, you can find it by searching your whole project. In my opinion, one of the best things that Game Maker Studio 2 has. Now, the next couple things are actually in the menu here you may just not have noticed. So if you've got multiple lines of code and you want to comment them out, you can actually just select them all, right click, and press comment selection. And the same thing goes if you want to uncomment that selection. Uh, you can see here that it only takes away two of those and there were three, so keep that in mind if you have multiple slashes. But you can comment and uncomment both with right clicking and you can also use these shortcut keys that are shown there. Now, the next thing is that we need to make an event. And add just another event, doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna full screen this and you can actually edit your code in columns. If you right click anywhere, you can choose these three different views. If I choose two columns and then I drag this step event over, you can see I have the create and the step event viewable at the exact same time. 
This is great for coding multiple events in an object that you need to compare them between and you can see them exactly at the same time. So I hope that you found those useful. If you know of any that I didn't get to, leave them off in the comments below and we'll just make this a very useful video for anyone looking for tips and tricks for Game Maker Studio 2. Thanks for joining me. That's what I've got for you today. As always, have fun making great games and I will talk to you later. If you'd like to support me in making these game dev tutorials, consider sponsoring me on Patreon. The awesome people currently supporting me are on the screen, and they get cool benefits like one-on-one -on -one training sessions, early access to videos, and more. Check it out in the link below or visit patreon.com slash beyondusgames. Thank <laughs> you.